On our last test that we're going to do in this little series is going to be our straight leg raise, which you probably are familiar with or have seen before. Um, so I'm going to kind of blow through this a little bit, but with this one, it would be nice to have a partner or someone that would be able to help you with this. So when you do this, you're laying down flat on your back. You can do it on a mat too, but from here you're lying down flat on your back. Your hands are pressed into the ground. And so from here you want everything tight. And then you're going to pull your toes back. And your partner at the widest part of your hip is going to have a dowel rod, PVC pipe, something. And it's going to shoot straight up. And all you're wanting to do from here, while keeping your opposite leg planted on the ground, is bring that leg up and back down. Just like that. You're trying to keep all of your legs straight. And mine is awful. And then you're switching to the other side. So with that one, there's a few things that we're looking at with that one. Um, your main thing is going to be your hamstring flexibility. So with mine, I obviously have very tight hamstrings, so that one throws me off every single time. Um, I would probably rate that like a one. Um, they usually do on a scale of zero to three. Zero, as we know, is your pain level. Um, so if you are in pain doing the movement, then we call it a zero and move on and then a three is perfect. And so perfect for this test would be right past the dowel rod. So if the dowel rod is there, you're taking it all the way past it. Two would be right at it or a little bit before it. And a one would probably be where I'm at, which is like maybe a 45 degree angle. Um, and you test those on both sides. So you do both sides, get both sides a score. And then what you do with these scores, at the very end of it all, as you tally it all up. Now obviously a zero across the board would be um, not good, but then with every single other one, you're looking for, if you get threes across the board, then it's perfect um, in every single avenue. And what you may look for then at that point is, okay, now I can work on getting started on my fitness routine and not having to worry too much about, I have some areas of improvement in terms of stability or mobility. There definitely is um, room for improvement, even if you have threes across the board. Um, but if you're super mobile, they're not gonna get more mobile. And if you're super stable, then all you're going to do is add some sort of resistance to it. Um, if you're using bands, then you'll add weights. If you're using weights, you'll add more weight to it. So. Um, there's always room for improvement, but at that point, you won't have to spend the majority of your time trying to improve all those issues and then move on to your workout. You'll be able to lessen that amount of time and go more so right into your workout, um, knowing that your form is going to be good and knowing that you have the mobility and the stability to perform the movement at the optimal um, range of motion.